So Thomas, you have one of the more interesting jobs in motor racing. I think for those who have a street car that they love, maybe see the direction, future direction of road cars. So tell me a little bit about what you do for Audi Sport. Well, my job is, uh, I'm head of electrics, electronics and energy systems. And maybe to explain energy systems, that's, that's mainly the hybrid system, so handling the alternative energy. Um, and yeah, that's, that's basically my job at, at Audi Sport, to coordinate everything and hopefully to lead to the right direction. You bring a lot of engine experience to what you do. How does that help with what you're trying to do with the uh, energy recovery systems that are becoming much more popular in road cars and they're vital in Le Mans racing? Well, let me put it this way. Uh, the, the hybrid system is, is a part of the powertrain. And as you mentioned before, as, as, an, as a former engine guy, I mean, I was a powertrain guy too, so mainly it helps because it's, it's electronics, electrics in the area of the powertrain, and that's a very, very unique and specific thing. So, yeah, it helps a lot. One of the most impressive things about uh, Le Mans racing and LMP1 with Audis and some of the other cars is if you think of a street car, and a, a pure electric street car and its power output, you guys are making a lot more than that. How are you able to do that? Well, it's different components, clear, but we have a different target. So so, and in the end, we work within the, the framework of the rules. So, um, and, and so therefore, the, we, we have a different goal. Even though from the technology, we use very similar things. And, and especially, I have to say, now having this, this, um, this, this job at Audi, um, taking care of the hybrid systems, we have a very close link to the guys of the road car department. So developing the hybrid system of the road car, even so, it's a different direction. But the tools we are using, and, and let me say the technology behind it, is very similar. If you look at some road cars that are pure electric, many of them use big, heavy batteries and such, uh, How are what kind of difference systems do we have in P1 hybrid because I know that we have whether it's a super capacitor, a flywheel base, a mechanical flybrid. Yeah. What are some of the systems that are being developed uh, in racing that could uh, possibly replace these huge batteries? Well I think first of all we have to say that in a road car the, the main goal at the moment is to get as much energy into the system so that you are able to do just by driving purely electric um, to make a long distance. So therefore you need a lot of energy. We are more focused on, uh, on power probably energy density, so it's a different direction. I would say, generally speaking, um, the development of battery cells um, for motorsport and for the road car is, is not the same, but it will be something where one can, can benefit from the other. So looking at where P1 hybrid class is going, eight megajoule right now is the limit in the rules. Uh, I know that some manufacturers are doing their best to reach eight megajoules. How tough is that today, just in general, and do you think we could move higher than that number sometime soon? I think at the moment we are at a point where the 8 megajoule is quite tough to reach. Yeah. Uh, it's even more difficult with the diesel engine because the diesel engine itself is, is heavier than a gasoline engine and obviously we have a, a, weight, a certain weight we have to achieve. So therefore I think it is a tough goal, um, but I'm sure the development of the hybrid systems and also their reduction in weight, also the energy density, the power density, um, this is still a very steep curve and so I would expect within, within the next two years that we, say, we see big steps and then probably more is, is, is possible. What's the most interesting aspect or fun aspect from your part knowing that you have to integrate a hybrid system into a com with a combustion engine uh, effectively to provide all-wheel drive through two different ends being powered? Um, let me say, it, I think it's a controlled side because, let, let me put it this way, I mean the driver's got one throttle pedal and one brake but he's got two systems doing this job. Obviously on the brakes, the hydraulic brake and the hybrid system is able to brake the car and at the same time you have the internal combustion engine powering the car and the hybrid system powering the car. So therefore, you, know, you need a lot of software and a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of brain work to get this together and to get to use it in the most efficient way. And besides developing the components, doing lightweight, doing power density, I think it's a control system because that is something that we haven't had in the past and that's a very new part. So um, I just have to, it's, it's a fun part of it and it's very interesting and we learn every day.